These old men and women, dressed in black cloth with a green leaf on their necks, it signifies that they are warriors and chanting war songs. And that green leaf on their necks is for protection against evil spirits that will bring them defeat during the war and you see them chanting war songs as well meaning that a king is coming and they are preparing for war as you see the warriors with musketry and holding Musketries, firing musketries into the air, depicting that they are really ready for war. And there comes the head of a lion. Lion is a very powerful animal and is a king of the jungle. And it shows that the king of Ashanti is as powerful as a lion and is very deadly when it comes to war. It shows how powerful his position is. All these things are depicted depicting how powerful the Ashanti kingdom is when it comes to war. These are the Bremen people called Bremen for and they are the warriors and they chant the war song to spare the king of Ashanti on and get him ready for war. And this is Otunfuo in his palanquin, dressed as a warrior, surrounded by his men, with the military also in attendance to give him protection against his enemies. See, Otunfuo is also singing the war song because he's really ready for battle. And he's singing the war songs being chanted by the people of the Bremen, as we call them Bremen for chanting war songs and showing that they are ready for war. This is a unique display of culture and tradition. Very powerful, very beautiful. Royalty at its best. Let's see how the celebration is going. <laughs> 